welcome to the swear corner for those joining us for the very first time welcome you all welcome to my channel my name is Orlunde for the first timers of course BTW so today we are testing makeup the pretty by flora matte foundation I found this foundation it clicks and this is in the shade um 14 dark caramel I think they're exclusive to Foschini, but only the Foschini in Vern Hill, not the Foschini like anywhere else. I don't know, I didn't check out Grove, so I'm not really sure whether Grove has them, right? But there's a variety of products, it's literally like a proper like makeup brand. They have powders and setting sprays and all that stuff. So I also got the concealer, but and this is in the shade Soft Beige. And their concealers are much lighter. It just literally looks like it's white. I already know it's too light for my skin, but I bought this so they can use it as a foundation. I mean, as an eyeshadow base. With this foundation, I got, don't mind me, I was playing around with the foundation now. I got three travel small brushes. That's a very like powder brush. Not too dense, very soft, you can see, so it can be a foundation brush. And this little applicator brush for shadow and then this is an applicator brush for foundation i was playing around with it with the foundation um a while ago now it comes in 14 shades it's a mattifying foundation it has a dewy and matte look it just has spf 15. they say that with its creamy texture and oil-free formula a mattifying foundation provides a smooth look um, and a flawless coverage for your skin its moisture retaining formula helps the face to look dewy and smooth while protecting it against the harmful UV rays SPF 15 and the UV filter in its formula. It's a matte and soft texture and creates a natural and, and an impeccable look on the skin and is suitable for combination and oily skin. They have a Get Real Matte Foundation which is the one that I bought and then they have high cover foundation. They, I didn't have the I didn't see the high cover foundation in the shop. This one literally is for a very matte finish, creates a flawless matte skin makeup look with its powder textured formula, protects skin from natural harmful rays, da, 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 SPF 15, and then gives you like a flawless look. This one is just a cover up liquid concealer. It says creamy and soft, lightweight texture that helps to provide an even thin veil while leaving a natural velvety finish. I'm gonna start with the foundation before we go onto our eyeshadow simply because I want to see how the foundation will like um, behave on my skin. I'm going to this Revlon Rose Glow Hydrating Illuminating Primer. This photo already is almost finished. It's almost been time to get myself another one again. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna swatch the foundation because I already know that it's close to my skin tone. Also, I just have, I just bought one so there's no point in me like doing a swatch at this point. If I miss this one up, I've messed up the whole situation. Then there's no review at all. I really like this black and white striped situation. This is very, oh, this is very, very nice. I bought the foundation for $167 and for Shini. It doesn't say shake, shake, shake or anything actually, eh? Hey. Usually foundations at least say shake, shake, shake or something. No shaking. Let's check anyway. I like the fact that it is a pump. I just hope this pump doesn't leak. leak. I'm going to use a brush. It's nice and thick for a brush. And the tone is very nice. I usually took the right foundation. It would have been a whole mess now if I didn't take the right foundation. Those are two pumps, but I feel like I need more. So, usually to measure the texture of it is that you put it at the back of your hand and then blend your face with. This foundation is definitely buildable. So if you want full cover, you're going to use more than one pump. I'm a full cover girl. I really am. So far, application looks really, really nice. It looks really nice. I like it, actually. It's giving me like... Um, giving Yardley a run for its money looks like it. The application is very pretty. I'm going to use a little bit of the their concealer, and I bought their concealer for 76 bucks.
and then I'm, I'm going to combine that with my Rimmel Insta Conceal and Contour Trio thingy. I'm going to use that one there for contouring and I'm going to use the middle one for concealing further. I'm going to use an applicator brush of course. Those thick brushes are nice for blending and applying product on your face. So I'm going to just put that one there and this one there and that one there and that one there. And my normal create a V. Right, wipe off that this one and go into the dark one with the same brush and apply the areas you would usually like contour. This is a more of a warmer dark brown, so this will almost be like bronzing my face, not really like contour because contour usually is like a very like um not warm but cold or cool brown this one is almost like it's a red if you if you like almost red gold type of dark so because we're not going for anything too heavy we're just doing it lightly i don't know if this is called lightly but okay i'm going to use the applicator brush key to blend the concealer I use this at the top because I want that area right underneath my eye to be bright and then I went in with something more better and their concealer is really thick and I like the way that it's blending into the Rimmel concealer as well this here just gives my mouth a whole different type of dimension BTW right then with the Dem Beauty Blender, I am just blending out. I'm gonna blend out the contour, the yeah, the contour slash bronze. With the foundation brush. Seems to be working well, well with all the products that I applied on my face. I'm going to use baby powder. I used this in my previous video. Was that video? Yeah, previous video. To set because I want to bake. And I'm just going to use this fluffy, I forgot what I call it every single time. Because then I'm going to do eyebrows. And then we will figure out eyeshadow as well. In my last video when I used this, I didn't really bake. Now I'm going to bake. I'm literally baked. I'm going to clean up my eyebrows a little bit using my gel from Signature, of course. And then I'm going to use concealer to clean up that under eye. I mean, just under the eyebrow. Quickly middle layer. There. Eyebrows are done. I'm going to prime my lids with the primer from Wet n Wild. I'm going to use the Exotic Nude from Signature and I'm going to use Mocha Mood. I'll use, I'm going to use Mood and I'm going to use Naked. The nice thing is this palette is very like pigmented anyway so you don't have to put additional like concealer on your um, on your lid if you're going to use this unless you want to do like a cut crease like I want to do now and I want a very simple nude almost I I'm using a, a stapling brush it's really nice to use um, a soft definer I'm just going to go into robe 
rubies that one just so I can create a nice transition shade and I forgot to go over that one in first I should have actually now with the concealer I'm going to do a cut crease and then I'm going to use their applicator brush and use that to just clean the area up properly then I'm going to take a nice clean brush I'm going to naked and just fill out that space and then go back in with my tapered brush and go into mood and just darken that transition there there and i'm going to go in with green this is just a green wonder uh swipe two-in-one liner a liner from rimmel i'm gonna keep quiet now because i really want to create that line so one eye done I'm going to do the other one off line and then I'll come back and then we'll put lashes on and finish off the look. Seriously? Okay, so welcome back. All I literally did was dust off the powder, the baby powder. Look at how cute my face looks. I went in with oh, this jumbo pencil crayon from NYX and then i follow that up with the, my bottom lash line and then this is like that this side that i like and then i follow that up with this blue pencil that i got from my sister i don't know where she got it from i think maybe a china shop so that's basically what that like did and then i went in with mascara so this had so much for me thinking that's not going to just be very simple so far the foundation is holding up very very nicely I've been lacking it. I'm going to contour. Right. This is basically the final look. I went a little bit dramatic more than I expected it would be. Um, my battery died. And then I just went in with my black lipstick from MAC. And then I followed that up with this dark maroon color that's called dressing room from um the all women lipstick brand from foshini and yeah this is basically the final look i mean you guys saw me do the contour thing and all that extra good stuff i am like loving this look i like the dramaticness i'm like i stacked my lashes so now they're like here i love the way that it looks it looks very dramatic we are here I love this foundation. This foundation did not even move one bit. Not one bit. I did not go in and put in extra powder, nothing. Only the areas that I baked have powder. The other areas don't have powder at all. And she is still like sitting. Oh, well, unless you count the areas where I contoured and put a bit of blush and highlight. That's, be a little, that's basically it. But I love, 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 love this foundation. And the jelly is like next to the Yardley one now. And the complexion is um the, the undertone of the foundation is not so bad. It's it's really why am I saying not so bad? Like it was bad. No, it's good. I like it. I can work with it. I can make it work. It looks really, really pretty. I wish I was going somewhere. It's literally in the middle of the night. And I wish I was going somewhere. Because his lashes need to be like high. Yeah. I really like the way this concealer literally held up with me putting powder on top of it so this is a very nice one to use as a uh, base if you want to make pigments pop and i like it i think i'm going to try and use it with more like other like colors if i want to get like a red or a orange or yellow to show up and see how that works and i love the look i'm really really happy Whew, the foundation this pretty foundation i'm thinking every time, I, every time i discover foundation i'm just like oh my god that is so cool well, all the time but this is one of the good ones so Ooh, i think i'm going to probably film a video where we do like my top foundations so that you guys know because now i can actually rate them i can rate all the foundations that i have but i 
all in all i love the whole look i love how dramatic i went even if i'm not going anywhere and i love my way my face looks i just it looks so clean and so set i didn't literally feel that i didn't have to blend so much not blend but like bake and i mean not bake put extra powder it's not like coming off no transfer yet i could wear this actually under a mask hey. and the baby powder is still like one of my new ones now i'm going to use it on the regular but this is anyway the final look let me stop checking this is literally basically what the look is i'm done i just think i look pretty and i want you to see me the whole time and my face but i'm yeah that's it i'm done i love it love it love it try it out 167 dollars and this one was 76 bucks all in for shini at for shini at burn hill not at moromo so basically that's a pretty by flow more is what it's called i'm really happy with what it looks like i'm done with this whole situation really happy <sighs> thank you guys so much for watching i hope you really like this look the way i do clearly <sighs> please like if you do and share with your friends if you also do if you want to see more looks like this stick around become part of the family anyway for those who are already part of the family i'll see you guys in my next makeup video i really love this look though <laughs>